In this video I'm going to show you how to edit your WordPress theme CSS style. Now there are thousands upon thousands of themes for WordPress available online and I'm sure you'll find one that sort of fits your needs but no matter how hard you try I'm sure you'll find that whatever theme that you decide to choose for your blog there's going to be something about it that you might like to change you might like to change say the typeface or you might like to change the picture that's on there or some of the layout and so on and you know, if there is something about your WordPress theme that you'd like to change this is how you do it what you have to do first of all is to make some changes to the permissions of the CSS page the CSS style sheet so that you can alter it. And you do this either by using an FTP software package like FileZilla or you can use the file manager settings on your control panel either on cPanel or as in this particular site it uses extended control panel. And you need to look for where the theme that you are going to edit is stored on your server and in this particular one it's in public HTML blog WP hyphen content themes and then the theme that I'm going to edit which is 2010 and you want to scroll down until you find a page that is called style.css now depending on the theme that you have because all themes are slightly different this particular file might be called something else but it will end in .css you'll see there's lots of different files that make up a uh, WordPress theme and you need to change the permissions to make it editable so what you have to do on this particular file manager that I'm using is you right click and then come down to where it says chmod if you're using a different type of FTP software then you should refer to the instructions for how you change the permissions and you want to change the permissions to 777 and this means that it can be read executed and written by everybody some shared hosting packages won't allow you to change your permissions to 777 in which case you should contact the administrator and ask him or her which permission set you can use to do this. I've got it set to 777 so I'm going to click on save and there you go you can see that is now changed to 777 okay so I'm coming back now to the dashboard and we come down to appearance themes I've got the current theme selected and then I come down here to editor and click on that link there and this window opens up and you can see the various templates that come included with the theme make sure that the theme that you're going to edit is the right one and you can choose them from a drop down menu but we're going to keep it here on 2010 okay first thing very important you need to save this because once you've committed yourself to changing it that's it you can't undo it but if you already have it saved somewhere else you can simply restore it back to the way it was back to the default setting the easiest way of doing that is to click here in this inner window right click do select all then right click again and copy and then you want to paste it into a text file so let's just open up the uh, text editor just opening up notepad and then paste it in control and V and now I'm going to just save it onto my desktop and I'm going to call this style CSS
and then just save that. Okay, that's saved now, and I can close that down. All right, this is the CSS style sheet. If you're familiar with CSS, it should be quite easy to follow. If you're not, it can look a bit daunting, but it really is actually quite straightforward. Um, at the top here, you'll have some information about the style sheet. You don't really need to worry about that. None of this is going to need to be changed. And in fact, sometimes with the license, like for example, if it's under a GNU public license, then you must leave this as it is. This is all part of the terms and conditions. And if I scroll down here a bit, you can see all the different things that there are. You see, it tells you that the layout is two columns and it gives you the uh, code for the columns. Um, you've got the sidebars or not, and again, it gives you the whole things here, like the width of the sidebar. Here you've got 900 pixels. And let me go a bit further down. It has things like the uh, font sizes and weights, etc. There's a whole lot of different stuff that you can find here. And then it just basically gives you everything that you need to know to completely customize it. For example, you change the background colors. This is the hexadecimal code for uh, the various colors that you have, uh, the margins. For example, here you've got 20 pixels uh, for the margins left and right and padding and so on. And if you want to make any changes, all you have to do is just simply type them in. Like, let's say I want to make the uh, left margin 10 pixels. And we'll make the right margin 30 pixels to compensate. I can simply do it just like that. And then when I've finished making all my changes, I can come down here and click on update file. And there you go, it says the file has been edited successfully. After you've finished editing, you should go back into your control panel or uh, to your FTP software and change this permission back to 644 and this will prevent anybody from hacking into your style sheet and changing it in a way that you might not want. CSS is quite an involved subject so if you'd like to learn more about it there are lots of resources available online. Just do a search in Google for free CSS tutorial and you'll find quite a number. As you can see there's about 13 million according to this search result here. Uh, there are some that you have to pay for but there are as you can see here quite a lot that you can get for free.